Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add some more of the C4 plastic explosive to your remote community DAISY server and some more of the remote detonators as well so that your players can run around and enjoy blowing each other up from a distance. So in order to do this we need to have access to your server's types.xml file. So uh, we're using Nitrado as an example here but we go to the web interface for your server and you'll end up at the um, something like the dashboard which will be here as you can see and then you want to go to the file browser so you click this bit and then if you're on PC you've got to drill down a bit to get to the missions folder if it's Xbox it will say XB missions PS, PlayStation it's PS missions click into that directory and then we'll have Chernerus Plus for a Chernerus uh, server if it's a Livonia server it will say Enoch click into that one then we want to go into the DB directory, so click into that one and then scroll down and we're looking for types.xml. Highly recommend you download this file, keep it in your downloads folder, make a copy into a working folder and work on that copy so that if there's a problem you can always revert to the types.xml you've downloaded. Now, open up the file in your favourite text editor, go in Notepad++, highly recommend this one, there's a link in the description below this video. So let's do Control F, let's find uh, plastic and if we say find all in current document down the bottom we can look down and we can say right there's plastic explosive so let's double click on that one and here we have the entry for plastic explosive as you can see only five of them spawn in on the map at any one time although because they're only counted in the map and not in players hands or anything it means that as people pick them up more will spawn in um, so we may let's say we want to increase that to say 10 we'll increase the min to say 8 now the thing that's probably causing will cause problems with people trying to f find them is this value here value equals unique so as you'd expect plastic explosive plastic explosive is in the explosives category and the usage name is industrial so you find it in industrial you know, um, uh, factories and workshops dotted around the map but the value name so this is the uh, location on the map where, where it will be found is unique and there's a bit of a debate about what that means at the moment I've had a look on the central economy tool and it's not that many areas so what I recommend you do is if you scroll down a bit we can copy here value uh, value equals tier 3 and tier 4 scroll back up again and what we should do is paste that into there so what this means now is the plastic explosive will be found in industrial places in tier 3 and tier 4 locations. So that's in the northwest of the map. So sort of starting off round about the northwest airfield and up through the rest of the map there. So people will have to travel to that uh, area of the map to actually get some um, um, to get some of this. Now, unique, it either means these specific locations in industrial areas around the map, like there's one in Chernerus. It also could mean on the trains now that spawn in. But if we add value name tier 3 and value name tier 4, we kind of spread it out a bit. Also remember, by adding these extra tiers, the 10 plastic explosives that will spawn in are going to be spread out more. So this is where you might want to add a little bit more, maybe go up to 15. Go, don't go mad we don't want to overwhelm our server don't put a hundred in and remember where we're adding stuff in you should take other stuff away so that's the plastic explosive um, so the other thing we probably want is the we want the remote detonator and we'll probably want to put the, um, the the protector case in as well don't we but let's find the detonator now when we find the detonator what you'll see is there's the remote detonator and there's the receiver and the trigger don't add these in okay you don't need the remote detonator receive and the remote detonator trigger um, you want the remote detonator which is basically the trigger and the receiver in one thing um, so that you combine that with the with the plastic explosive and the protector case and you can make an IED um, or you can put the remote detonator Actually, the remote detonator comes with this with the claim on mine doesn't it but don't add any more of these just look at the remote detonator so if we look at the entry for this one, we can see um, there's only five of them. The counters in the player, restock is two, so maybe we put that up to ten. Put the minimum up to eight. And again, it's tools and industrial, but again, it's only found in this unique area. So maybe what we should do is take that tier four and tier three from here. And put that into there so that um, they're going to be found in 
the north uh, west area of Chernerus as well so that'll make them a little bit easier to find that way um, so that's nice and easy isn't it so the, the final thing we said the protector case this is where I'm going to forget what it's called now um, is it called a protector case small protector case there it is now actually we probably don't need any more small protector cases because there's already 70 of them in the map but I don't know so you could put up to 90 put the minimum up to um, 70 um, and they're found in industrial areas um, and town areas so I, th I think that's pretty much okay isn't it we don't really need to play around with that so there we go my friends that is so you would then sorry you save the file get ahead of myself upload it over the top of your existing types.xml restart your server and those new items will start to spawn in um, <coughs> excuse me and that my friends is it that is how you add more of the plastic explosive and the um, remote detonator and the protector case to your daisy community server for pc playstation or xbox hopefully you found the video useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon